Today's Bible study is titled, Law Cannot Disannul Grace. In our last session in Galatians, we learned that per the revelation of the mystery, the death, burial, and resurrection, the gospel of grace was that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. And we saw that this went way beyond the prophetic prediction and was for both Jew and Gentile in simple belief of the gospel by grace through faith, apart from any law. Paul addresses more about the blessing of Abraham and God's associated covenant with Abraham as we continue today. Brethren, I speak after the manner of men, though it be but a man's covenant, yet if it be confirmed, no man disannulleth or addeth thereto. Now to Abraham and his seed were the promises made. He saith not unto seeds as of many, but as of one unto thy seed, which is Christ. And this I say, that the covenant that was confirmed before of God in Christ the law, which was 430 years after, cannot disannul that it should make the promise of none effect. For if the inheritance be of the law, it is no more of promise. But God gave it to Abraham by promise. Galatians 3.15-18 to Let's dig in a bit on this. Paul clarifies how he is addressing this further explanation, saying, Brethren, I speak after the manner of men. And don't miss this, for it explains the why and how of Paul's continued discussion. And that discussion is that regarding God's covenant with Abraham, though it be but a man's covenant, Yet if it be confirmed, no man disannulled addeth thereto, pointing out the importance of a covenanted agreement, even if it were a man's covenant. And the real point of all of this is that no subsequent agreement can cancel and nullify or add to the previous covenanted agreement per rule of law even then. Paul continues that when God made the unconditional grace covenant with Abraham, It was such that now to Abraham and his seed were the promises made. He saith not unto seeds as of many, but as of one, and to thy seed, which is Christ. Thus we see the real extent of God's Abrahamic covenant as it extended beyond Abraham to Abraham's seed, singular, which was to Christ. And the Abrahamic covenant extended to Christ as pertains to the subsequent covenant of Mosaic law does not modify the previous covenant. Paul explains this saying, And this I say that the covenant that was confirmed before of God in Christ, the law, which was 430 years after, cannot disannul that it should make the promise of none effect. Thus, we see the law covenant in no way changed, limited, or annulled in any way the terms of unconditional grace covenant that God made with Abraham. And so Paul concludes in the matter, for if the inheritance be of the law, it is no more of promise, but God gave it to Abraham by promise. By this we see that the law was not the vehicle and mechanism by which God would provide salvation for condemned and sinful mankind. Rather, it was by the unconditional covenant that God made with Abraham by promise. Yet the Galatians, due to the teaching of the gospel of the kingdom, those of the circumcision, were seeking to somehow justify themselves or otherwise make themselves pleasing to God via attempted obedience of Israel's conditional Mosaic law and circumcision covenants. And Paul is here showing how utterly senseless this is. And much of Christendom still misses this to this day. Believer, live in God's unconditional grace. Thank you for listening to today's Bible study. 